Now, going into Final Explosion. Look at Final Explosion after this. And again, a male sand is doing this. One of the least optimal uh, presets and races for key base skills. And I'm getting 50,296 damage. What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Super Saiyan Cat, back with another Xenoverse 2 video for you guys today. We're going to be taking a look at a Super Soul that came out of a raid reward a couple of days ago. Now, your boy forgot to do the raid. I know I'm an absolute dumbass. Yes, you don't have to tell me down below in the comments. But the Super Soul that you got from that raid, guys, from the Bardock raid, I believe it was, was this one right here. Let's make this the ultimate final battle. This Super Soul is absolutely off the chart, and thankfully, due to how this Super Soul works, we can showcase it with our CAC without even having it on our CAC. So what we're going to be doing is using Mentor Goku in the training mode so we can showcase this for you guys. But taking a look at the description for those who do not know about it. Basically, a short time after the battle begins, you get a boost to all your allies' melee and key blast attacks by an XXL amount. And then you also boost your enemies' melee and key blast attacks by an xxl amount as well so this super soul is literally absolutely insane the damage boost that comes when it activates is out of this world the biggest possible damage boost you can get from any super soul and it doesn't just come for one category it comes for multiple and it's not just for you it's for your opponent as well now i will say one thing before we go into the training mode with this super soul right here guys this super soul does take one minute to activate it does not activate within 30 seconds 15 seconds anything like that i have timed it and it takes exactly one minute to activate so this is the type of super soul that basically when you're having a crazy good matchup with somebody or a back and forth type of match with somebody even if somebody is just running away this is when that super soul is going to come into effect but I would prefer it to be more for the battles that are just really back and forth, insane matches. Like, I've seen matches because I used to hold all the tournaments for those who knew about those and all, like, the OG uh, subs and things like that. All the tournaments I did back in the day, a lot of times the match would really come down to that, uh, would really be over three minutes. Because I would set the timer to, like, nine minutes or whatever, and they would take so long at times. And if I didn't have that timer on at nine minutes and I had it at three still, the match would have ended. So you can definitely have some crazy crazy insane matches on this game and basically when you're having that kind of match this is gonna make that match end a lot faster because once this comes into effect not only is your key blaze your key blast and things like that gonna be doing a lot more damage but your just straight basic combos are gonna get a major buff to them as well that xxl buff is absolutely insane with that so again what we're about to do is go into the training mode and showcase this with um my with my CAC, but Goku obviously is going to be the one using the Super Soul. Now, one thing I do want to mention, guys, is that this Super Soul does actually activate for yourself too. That was a question a lot of people had when the raid was actually announced: is if this Super Soul was just for your allies and enemies, or if it was for yourself, your allies and your enemies as well. And it does activate for you just to clear that up. But let's head on over into the training mode really quickly, guys, just to showcase the damage and show how this Super Soul right here can literally pretty much make any ultimate in the game a one-shot ultimate for the most part all right y'all here we are in the training mode now before the super soul actually actually activates on goku's side what i'm going to do is test a couple of moves so you can see the damage before the super soul comes into effect and the damage after it comes into effect as well now before i get the super soul active from goku my vanishing ball is doing 5269 my times 10 come out my half fully charged is getting me 9,896. And then taking a look at an ultimate Super Kamehameha, obviously Final Explosion will kill, so we'll have to change the settings in a second. But Super Kamehameha does 10,854, and I'm gonna say why I chose these two skills for the showcase, guys, is because Super Kamehameha doing 10,854 is really, you know, it's kind of average with where all the skills are now at this point in time. Um, in the game a lot of skills can do around this damage if not more like there's a lot of skills really that do what much more damage than this in xenoverse 2 with all the buffs and updates that have come within the last couple dlcs now obviously final explosion on the other hand is the strongest move within this game 
so I want to show you guys the damage boost that comes to it and how much damage Final Explosion truly does when you take into account not only um, the Super Soul, your Super Soul, and Super Saiyan Blue Warrior transformation along those lines. Now, before it activates again, just using Final Explosion in base form without going to blue, as you guys see right here, we are getting a total of... 33,498 damage and again this is in base form without even being in super saiyan blue now the super soul has come into effect let's make this the ultimate final ba uh, battle so now let's use final explosion again and look at the damage increase that comes because this super soul definitely does stack on top of other super souls i don't i do not know if it stacks on top of itself or not but it definitely does stack with other super souls like right now i have few super soul on which gives a key buff um a key blast based buff as well to your skills so i have so many buffs coming to key base skills and as you see 40,000 damage in base form with a sand guys i am a sand a male sand especially which is not optimal at all for key base skills i really feel like if you were to put this exact build with like a freeza race character you're gonna get maybe 60 70k with these super souls and with turn golden active at the same time so now taking a look at the other skills though guys vanishing ball now doing 6369 damage you got times 10 kamameha now doing 12,000 damage you have super kamehameha now doing Again, I am a male sand, 13,119 in base form. We take this up a notch to Super Saiyan Blue, and now check out the damage. Super, oh wait, I just, I, I'm an idiot. I didn't even go Super Saiyan Blue. I got so excited about the damage and stuff like that. But here we go, Super Saiyan Blue. Now take a look at this. It's absolutely insane. This is Super Kamehameha, one of the more, more average skills in the game, 16,291 damage. Like I said, a male sand, which is not optimal for key base skills at all. You put this on a female sand, on a freezer race, you're getting pretty much almost 20,000 damage with a Super Kamehameha. Anything that comes close to 20,000 damage for the most part is a one-shot skill in my opinion because by the time you use the ultimate your opponent should not have over two bars of health left at that point in time because there's gonna have to be a process with the fight back and forth getting their stamina down things like that so you can actually land the ultimate so again if a skill does to me anywhere be to at least like 18 uh, k plus you're pretty much looking at a one shot ultimate skill with that right there and i'm getting 16,200 and something with super kamehameha on a male sand again freeze a race female sand definitely getting 20k easily now going into final explosion look at final explosion after this and again a male sand is doing this one of the least optimal uh presets and races for key base skills and i'm getting 50,296 damage this is why i say i could definitely see a freezer race or even a female sand coming close to 60 maybe even around 70k damage with this build right here maxed out key a super soul like fuse which stacks key base skills for you on top of the super soul um let's make this the ultimate final battle you see the damage that truly comes from it now I, again i do not know if they can stack on top of each other or not that would be absolutely insane if they could but like you can see from this right here guys that this super soul is out of this world it makes the damage for a lot of things absolutely insane now i haven't even looked at some basic combos either take a look at the basic damage i'm getting with my male sand on some of these combos now 8,885 damage from that combo right there, which isn't even the male sand's best. Now showcasing their best um light heavy, light heavy combo. This one right here, guys, you're looking at 9,588, basically 9,600 damage from a basic combo. That is one bar of health. Not many characters have two and a half to three bars of health that's really about the average without after the updates and how mental characters were done but that's about the average in terms of health if not a little bit lower than that within xenoverse 2 so you're taking a third of health with just one combo so again this super soul is literally out of this world the damage that comes from it that you can get is insane like <laughs> a simple combo with the vanishing ball at the end of that 16,085 that's more than half of every character's health within the game except for the exception of like mentor boo and like uh broly and things like that 
so again man let me know what you guys think about this super soul how crazy it is for those who have them it themselves they know how crazy it is and also can this super soul be stacked as well let me know that down below in the comments because that's definitely something that i'm interested in at the same time but again to me this super soul may be one of the most broken in a good way in xenoverse 2 it's kind of hard to explain but it's like the first broken super soul that i actually like within the game because it can make a match absolutely insane and, and, and just so much different like you got to be so much careful when it comes to fighting because you can't take too much damage you can't stay in combos too long so again I, I do like this super soul even though it is broken i feel that it is broken in a good way for the game because it's not like it's giving one person the advantage it gives it to both sides so let me know your thoughts on this super soul down below in the comments but as always man thank you guys so much for watching really hope you guys enjoyed until next time hope you guys have a good day Hey, y'all. All right, y'all. One quick thing to add on to this video actually is the simple fact that it's not just your normal melee attacks, but it's also your strike skills that get boosted as well. We're going to take a look at a simple Android rush right here at 2,927 in base form, and then we're going to wait for the Super Soul to activate on Goku's side so we can showcase that that also gets an increase to its damage along with your basic attack. So literally every form of attack gets a boost by an xxl amount with this super soul right here so now we're gonna fast forward this right here and wait for the super soul to come all right now the super soul is here so now again we're gonna test android rush really quickly and as you see android rush is now doing 3600 damage as opposed to 29 27 before and if you look at the same basic combo just to show you guys because i know we did not i don't believe we showcased it after the before and after of the actual combos but as you see now my combo is doing 7673 damage so again this literally gives a boost by an xxl amount to every single category of attack within this game so this Super Soul, again, is OP to me. Let me know your thoughts on it down below. We're not going to do another outro, so I hope you guys have a good day. Peace, y'all.